Welcome to Engineering Scale Models. I'm Jason, your host, and I do models. It is time for another video in our TTL Logic Series, the 74LS Series, to be exact. Today we're looking at the 74LS11, and if you watched my 74LS10, this is going to be pretty much the same thing, just inverted. It is a triple three input, guess it? and gate I'm trying to get better on my writing skills so if we drew this we wouldn't have the inversion bubble and we'd have our three inputs a b c and q as our output and if we do our truth table zeros so we know this is an AND gate so all the inputs have to be high for it to put out a high so the rest of these are all lows. So it's going to be all off and one on when all three are put down. Let's just take a quick look at the data sheet here. Let's take a look at the data sheet. Here's the data sheet right here. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to do here is in blue is your first input which is pin 1, 13, and 12 and your next input is 11, 10, 9, and 8 and 3, 4, 5, and 6 and then we're going to have plus 5 volts on BCC and ground ground is ground so it goes to ground so that's your chip view right there um, it's the basic I'm not going to get into any of the heavy details of the chip there's a TTL chip it's transistor to transistor logic let's just check out what I built in the circuit I'll leave the data sheet up there so you can take a look at that let me see here. That looks a little on the dark side for some reason. The last one was fine. There we go. So let's take a look at what we have here. We have VCC into pin uh, 14. We have pin 7 is ground. Coming off of pin 6, we're going to our output. And our A is going to pin 3. B is going to pin 4. And well, I messed that up. A is to pin 5, B is to pin 4, and C is to pin 3. Well, I had that wired wrong. Didn't realize it. So if I apply my uh, 5 volts, which uh, by applying 9 volts, and I have my, um, my little clock circuit, my little setup here. I'll turn the power on. It's going to run my clock. If you want to see how I set this up, this is how I set up my breadboards. So I have a clock circuit, a pulse circuit, and a program counter. I have three videos on that. It'll be on the channel if it's not on there already. Check it out. You can see how I set up a new breadboard. It's a pretty good system. And for doing logic and stuff, it's good to have all those variable things. But back to our circuit, you can see the light is off. And if I press, if I follow the truth table, uh, let's get the truth table back up there. And we'll see, well, well, we're going to try to get the truth table back up there. So right there is our truth table. Get it right in the middle there. So, zero, 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 we have a zero. Press this one, still a zero. Press this one, that's two. That's three in binary. That's four in binary. That's five. That's six. 
and then there is seven and it lights so if all three are pushed it lights so we went to the truth table we proved that it's all true and that's about all I can say for this chip the 74 LS 11 it's a pretty simple chip we'll be getting into more complex chips later in the series I'm just going through them in order of the chips I got with that Jamico bundle so that's going to do it for this video you can visit me on social media at these links you can also support me on patreon I also have a GoFundMe page listed in the description to help me purchase some gear to upgrade my electronics workbench to do bigger and better projects thank you so much and have a fantastic day